transparency, the next fundamental factors we should discuss. Next, we come to the British pound. Recent data uh, were rather negative. Today, we got the news that British manufacturing production fell by 0.9%. All in all, uh, the recent data from the UK were not as bad as analysts would have expected after the Brexit vote in June. But still, today's figures gave the market a negative impression. And we will see later that uh, this data affected the pound uh, and made it decline versus the US dollar. Another piece of news, another important driver for the Australian in the recent days, and uh, this driver will continue to have an impact on the British currency in the next trading sessions, is that talk about Brexit and, uh, to be more precise, the legal procedures which um, should be uh, set in motion before um, for the Brexit to actually begin. Um, as we know, the UK High Court uh, in November announced that uh, British Parliament should and actually may uh, have a vote on the Brexit process on uh, the timeline of triggering Article 50, which um, should be triggered to begin Brexit. Uh, earlier, it was thought that British government would um, be doing all uh, the work and would be initiating Brexit. And Theresa May, the UK Prime Minister, said that she is going to um, trigger Article 50 by the end of March 2017. Then there was the decision of British High Court in November, and um, this decision created expectations that Brexit would be delayed by several years, or even uh, this scenario will be entirely cancelled. This helped the British pound recover. But uh, today, uh, Prime Minister Theresa May has announced that she will ask Parliament to back the government plan to formally serve Article 50 by the end of March 2017. Currently, the UK Supreme Court is uh, starting an appeal, an appeal to make the Parliament decide the fate of Britain in the European Union. But, um, Today's announcement by Theresa May sounded negative for the British pound and um, made traders believe that, after all, it would be the government which will trigger Brexit and uh, it would make it in time, according to the schedule, in March 2017. So, uh, these recent developments we saw this week were negative for the British currency. Also watch the discussion which concerns Britain's access to the European Union single market, as this news flow is also important for the pound. And earlier there were comments that Britain may actually pay for access to uh, the European Union single market, but the nations Warren Minister Boris Johnson has downplayed this idea. So once again, some concerns about the British pound. We don't consider these fundamental factors extremely bad for the pound at this point. More or less, uh, the pound remains to be undervalued after its big decline for which followed Brexit. We can see that still um, GBPUSD has retraced only 23.6% of Fibonacci of this post-Brexit decline. Uh, but uh, still, there is scope for some downside in GBPUSD currency pair. We are now looking to the level of 1.2430 from the current levels of 
1.26. Here at 1.2430, one can find support line of the recent uptrend in the British pound. And also um, here we find the 50 period moving average on the daily chart, so 50 day moving average. On the upside, GBP USD met resistance of this Fibonacci retracement area, and also here is the 100 day moving average, which is located just below 1.28 mark. Here it is. One point twenty eight. If we look at the Japanese candles, we can see that um, although British pound was able to continue pushing to the upside after its initial unsuccessful attempt uh, to break above one point twenty six sixty. Let us put this level in the chart. Uh, this is even 1.2670 to be more precise. This is um, November 11th high. And uh, there was firstly an unsuccessful attempt to get uh, above this level on December 1st, when despite this long upper shadow of last Thursday's candle, GBP USD pushed up, but um, there was no momentum, momentum has slowed down, and there uh, was limited by 1.2750 on the upside before we saw GBP USD return below 1.26. 70 mark. We see on the daily chart the stochastic indicator is giving us a bearish signal. So uh, short positions with targets around 1.2450, 1.2430 look like the best trading strategy for uh, GBP USD. As for the US dollar, uh, there are no news. No big news events ahead of the Federal Reserve's meeting. But uh, here in GBPUSD, I believe that um, news from Britain, some renewed concerns about um, Britain, may be the main driver of the pairing in the coming sessions. Let us move further.